Returning Monday, Carrie Ann Kennelly now brings you 90 minutes of the latest word, the hottest trends, and the biggest stars. Christ, boy. Enough talking about it, let's do it. All new mornings with Carrie Ann, 9 30 Monday on Channel 9. Tonight on Minds Wednesday, The Farnham Years, a special encore presentation. Then on The Bachelor, The Women Tell All, followed by Third Watch. <laughs> This program is proudly brought to you by White King and the Australian Women's Weekly. Hi, welcome to Australia's catchiest game show, Burjo's Catchphrase. And now, here's the man of the moment, John Burgess. Thank you very much. Welcome once again to Virtuous Catchphrase right here on the Nine Network. Good to have you with us again today, wherever you might be watching around the country. On a current affair World Cup crisis. There are some concerns, there's no doubt about that. Our cricket stars under pressure to boycott Zimbabwe. Whatever decisions are made, there's going to be disappointed people, either way. Plus the feathers fly. They come in here like bloody just starfish. As a council seizes our homeowners' roosters. Nine people to overpower a 71 year old father. And how to get the most out of your frequent flyer points. Use them all the time. Do I find it, I get good value out of it. A current affair after the news. Tonight on Minds Wednesday, The Farnham Years, a special encore presentation. Then on The Bachelor, The Women Tell All, followed by Third Watch. This is National Mind News with Peter Hitchener. In scorching weather, Victoria's bushfire crisis flares all over again. American firefighters return a favour and fly to the rescue. And no holds barred as President Bush goes after Saddam Hussein. Good evening also tonight, the medical spotlight on a Shepparton mum undergoing a world first stem cell procedure. First, the bushfires in northeastern Victoria that are now entering their fourth week are just as threatening tonight as ever. And as it's been so often, the weather's the key, with fierce northerlies and high temperatures expected to continue overnight before a change sometime tomorrow. Communities from Bright, across to Mitamita and down to Omeo are waiting, watching and praying. Residents of Omeo have battened down, with the Alpine town under siege for the second time in three days. After Sunday's close call, a major blaze is again heading their way, and there's concern they may not escape this time. Nick Coe is there. 